Ah, uh, the music is so serene. Oh, wait a second. We're back. Welcome back to the walkthrough, everyone. This is PK Gam, of course. If you're watching this on the PK Gam channel, you're watching it on the correct channel. Because uh, I don't think this video is going to be anywhere else so far. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on? Yeah, you have to go up here. Uh-oh. The insults are flying all over the place. Oh no, not the big plans. Well, I've got one of them. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Uh oh, what are you doing? Holy poopers! What have I done? Well, I guess I gotta take him on. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. This is... Ah, loading screen. Why do you torment me so? This is the Egg Hornet. Uh, grab some rings, of course. Always grab a few rings. Never collect them all just for safety precautions. There's some missiles. Dodge the missiles just by running around. You can also jump around, jump over them if you need to. Now he's going to do a little dash attack towards you. And underneath him, you can just spin at his underside, his backside of his robot. And it'll hurt him. That's basically how you beat him. That's all there is to it. And the more you... Uh, I should say, the more hits he takes, the more attacks he does at one time, and the faster he goes. Woo! Spin attack. Oh, I'm gonna get away with it, and you're gonna be crying when I'm done with you. Missiles! Woo! Yeah, I'm just messing around here. This is not hard at all. And he's gonna dash around a little bit more, and he's gonna automatically just do that spiky charge attack thing and dig right into the ground and fail miserably and I just spun around him the same way. The same attacks, he just never learns. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. He could at least try to mix them up a little, like maybe shoot missiles and, and dash spike at you at the same time or something. I don't know if that would make it any harder, but it would certainly be different. But you'd think with Eggman, with his high IQ, he would do a lot better than he does. No, stop the loading! Load faster! I think Eggman's pooping his well, pants. That wasn't so hard. Tails, what have you done? Oh, no. Why did you bring that thing out? No reference intended. Oh no! Not chaos! It's back! Yeah, I don't know how you could have forgotten about it already. I would have thought it wasn't the same thing right away when I seen the puddle. Ah, poopers. He's more powerful. Oh, poop. Uh-oh. Why would you want to do that? Oh, now I understand. Hey, that's not that good. Don't do that. Ah! Robotnik's ninja! I should say Eggman! No! That's right. Yep, pretty much. Okay, dokie. Go around here, and you're gonna see something on top of his... Wait, oh, oh yeah, this thing right here. Ah! Dang glitchiness. But you can also go inside Tails' workshop here. 
Uh, to my knowledge, there's nothing in here if you go in here a Sonic, so don't even bother. I just wanted to show you that. Um, pick this thing up with the B button. It's a windstone. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I don't know. Well, okay, maybe I do know what I'm supposed to do with it. Just take it over here. This wall should open it. Wait, no, 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 wait. Not that wall. Not that wall. Um, this one. Uh, wait, wait, what? Hold, hold on. What? Hold. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. See, this is what I'm... I, I haven't played this game in a while, so pardon my uh, noobishness here. It was this way. The other way is somewhere else that I do need to place another stone. So just place it on the pedestal. It'll actually start floating and pop right into place. This wind will start picking up here for some odd reason. And we're going to stage two, Wind Valley. The camera is messing up again. Dang you, camera! Oh, well, you're very faithful to me otherwise, so I shouldn't curse at you, so... Even though that wasn't really a curse word. But anyway, we're at the Windy Valley. You just fly up wherever you see wind like that. You can tell where there's wind because there's leaves and stuff blowing inside it. That's how they uh, depict wind in video games most of the time. Here's a bubble! I will not be afraid. I will run into it and just go straight through the gate at full speed. Woo! And yes, you just walked on air there. And just stay on here for three bounces and you should be able to easily get over to this platform. Jump up in midair and do a da jump dash uh, to get across the cap easily. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh my goodness. Ah! The wind is really picking up now. Ah! It's a little tornado! Yeah, this is a part of the stage, by the way. Um, but I believe you can get that power up before you get into that tornado. The one that you've seen up on top of that ledge. Yes, I know how to get out of this tornado. But I thought I'd touch you anyway, because I like touching things. Touching is good, as says the Nintendo DS. And yes, it's the panel thing again. No big deal, it's pretty easy. There's a checkpoint right inside the tornado. That makes no sense whatsoever. It's like there's another world inside this tornado. Get on top of this bridge and jump on top of the spring, or I should say walk on top of it, and you'll get popped right outside the, to the to the top here, and this, whoops, let, <laughs> this last spring here will take you outside the tornado. And the music will change to awesome Sonic 3D Blast music. Oh yeah, references for the win. You can break through this wall like so, it's pretty nice. Bricks fly everywhere. And you can run down the slope like awesome sauce. And uh, yeah, awesome sauce runs down slope. It's just that awesome. And why did the camera go down there? I don't know, but I'm not going to question it. I guess you can't get a good cameraman like you can with uh, Lakitu or Lakitu from Super Mario 64. Man, he's a great cameraman, I have to say. But the one that's doing the Sonic Adventure series, I think I'm going to fire if I could. Oh, uh, well, anyway, let's go through the loop. And another gate to fly through the air, or I should say walk through the air, or run through the air. It appears like Sonic is running on air, or he is... Ah, Spiky Ball! Or he is um, running on leaves or something, I don't know. We'll touch that uh, boost thingy there, and uh, woo, fly in midair! And land on this spring, and you'll fly through the air all over the place. This camera is great at keeping up with fast action, by the way. Let it... Oh, whoa! Let <laughs> That was kind of weird once again with the camera, but anyway, land on that platform, run down here, and hit those boosts on the ground. I don't know how very fast treadmills can boost the hedgehog across the ground faster, but it works for Sonic, and I'm not going to complain, especially when it makes me go faster. Ah, I'm so hyper. And now the camera switches around for some reason. I don't know why it does that. I think it does it to be dynamic or something, but it doesn't really help you. And you fly through the air to the very end, and you end up by this capsule thing. Well, actually, it's an emerald, not a capsule. It's a, it's a capsule in the time trial area, but whatever. Well, that was pretty quick, pretty easy. Second stage, it should be. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, whatever. Level C. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of ranks for some reason when I thought of the last level. Um, there's different levels, like, to, to collect more the emeralds and stuff like that. Square will be soon. Uh, train open, I mean, train is back at, uh, train is going back to Station Square, so go back there. But anyway, as I was saying about ranks, uh, that's, uh, I was thinking about Sonic Adventure 2, where you can be ranked differently for how well you perform, but, uh, you just have to complete each, uh, uh, challenge, so to speak, 
for each stage. If you want to get all the emblems in so the first Sonic Adventure, uh, I'm just saying that for the heck of it. Uh, just to correct myself from the last part. Well, anyway, now we're going to the casino. You can go to the casino down this way if you would like. What? I thought we were supposed to go to the casino. Um... What? Um... Hmm... Uh, hold on a sec here. I'm gonna have to talk to the bubble. I thought we were going to the casino for the third stage. Oh, they want me to go to the sewer right away. Okay. The sewer is this way. Pardon my noobishness once again. Anyway, uh, there is a car over here. There, I should, wow, there was a car over here. It was blocking this manhole. Well, jump down this manhole here, and you'll go into this very stinky, smelly area. Ugh! Ew, 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 germs, ew. You can't go this way, by the way. Not, not with Sonic, at least. You'll be back here with another character. Anyway, go up here, and, ah, camera. Jump into the light. Go into the light! We now got the light now speed dash. Light speed uh, well, it's the light the speed shoes. But once you have enough power, release the button leading to the light speed dash. Yeah, it's called the light, the light speed, speed dash, but you need the shoes to do it. Light speed. Um, yeah, wherever you see there's uh, rings in a straight line. Ah, dang you, camera. Why don't you mess with me? So you press that, some rings appear, and the camera messes up once again, and. You charge up power like that, you get near the rings, and then you, uh, release the B button. What the heck? Oh, the rings disappeared. Pardon me. <laughs> I took a little too long to explain that. Okay. And, woo, just like that. You just release the power next to a trail of rings, and then, yeah, that's it. You go through the door, and there's a power-up that I can get early in the game here as well. I should probably grab. Uh, it's, uh, I think, no, wait, maybe it's an emblem. Pardon me. Uh, by the way, it's nighttime, I should add. Ah! I keep running into cars, and surprisingly, Sonic survives without any rings. And go through this door here. And go up these stairs. Ah! Bad wall. Bad camera. And as you can see, there's two switches right here. And you can pretty much see what to do here. Woo! And you go inside here. Oh, it is another power-up. This will give me... Something to charge up the light light speed dash faster. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So anyway, hit the switch to open the door and run out the door. And now you can go to the casino because it's open. You just go through that door just as I thought before. Or that other area. And a cutscene should... No, 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 wait. It doesn't occur just yet. Uh, pardon me. I'm thinking of some other person's story. Anyway, store up some power. See how fast it charges now? Press the switch. May some rings appear. Go up those rings. You'll hit a switch at the top of the casino and open up the casino. That is something I will be doing in the next part, so I'll see you then. Toodaloo!